It's March 13th, 2020, 1.44 p.m. This is episode 823. I would normally wait till later in the day to make uh, the video, but I have like an hour and a half to kill. It's 1.44 p.m. Did I say that? And because um, my editor at CNN wants me to wait till after three, wants us to wait till after three, after tr the idiot's latest press conference was going to make everything worse. And uh, before you go with whatever we're going to go with, um, I had this idea in another form a couple weeks ago. You can put it on my blog, uh, but I didn't get around to doing it because other stuff kept taking it. But last night I thought this would be kind of fun to do, since Donald Trump's been hanging out with people infected with the coronavirus, and he's like, he's not going to get tested, <laughs> which sends a message to the nation that you know, well, it's, it's the wrong message. He should get tested. Here's the thing: he's not Superman, uh, which his supporters think he is. Uh, and I think he's afraid of getting tested because first he might find out he has it and if you don't get tested then nobody can tell you that, that you have it because he's that stupid and um, the other thing is he doesn't want his supporters to know he, he's getting tested because if he does it's going to leak out because he's got the leakiest White House in the history of White Houses and um, I mean he leaks more than his penis did back in the 80s <laughs> <laughs> oh, I slay myself. I just thought of that. Anyway, I, uh, but yeah, he, he's afraid if his supporters find out that he needed to test, he might look, I don't know, human. And, uh, well, of course, I have to agree with the supporters. He's not just any mere human. He's not up to being a human being. But his supporters think he's like this Superman. who's this old man who's afraid of stairs and rain, but he's invincible. All right, but anyway, I just love the whole brains thing. Oh man, I totally forget what I was gonna do. I, I, I dug up these sound clips of a zombie saying brains, and I loved them so much that I was gonna play one at the beginning of this, and then I totally forgot. Now it's pointless. Oh, I, just, I was saving that too all night long. I looked it up last night because I was just looking up sound clips because I was bored, and I'm like 12 years old sometimes. All right. Uh, right. Anyway, that was it. <laughs> I found a hilarious one too. Yeah, there's a zombie in the background going, brains, brains, brains. So, <laughs> yeah, I really hate it. I didn't play that now. All right, let's do some shout outs. Arrow says, I think, like everyone else, I'm on high alert for every cough, sniff, or headache I have. And that note, I do not feel well today. Why did you wear a medical mask? I'm sorry to hear that. I mean, I, I went to a bar yesterday and I had, like, uh, well, not yesterday, the day before, and I had two beers. And right when I was leaving, I sneezed. <laughs> and I was like, man, this whole place is going to freak out, aren't they? And then yesterday, last night I went to Giant and I sneezed. Well, I was at Giant, so I've sneezed twice in the last two days. Of course, it is approaching springtime here in Virginia, so uh, everybody's going to get sneezy. <laughs> Just from hay fever and allergies. Oh, great timing, right? Um, uh, Arrow says Trump could be sniffing because of chronic rhinitis. Rhinitis? Rhinitis? Uh, Sudafed's great for that. The judge knows that's something awful. Well, he did have a big drawer for Sudafed, so maybe he does. I don't know. Uh... Uh, Arrow says, not all the small countries did a good job of containment. Look at Italy, where the entire country had to close. Also, South Korea had better testing than we did because they were affected by it sooner than we were. That's a horrible excuse. We knew it was coming. Yeah, that's a horrible excuse. I'm not even reading the rest of your comment. Not because I'm mad, but it's so long. Yeah, wash your hands. TJ goes in to do some racist crap here. Racism and xenophobia. TJ, I want to ask, I'm going to request that you refrain from uh, your racism on my page, okay? Uh, it's really not fucking cool. And uh, re referring to the virus as the Wuhan coronavirus is racist and is xenophobic. And if you want to do that, go back to 4chan where you guys fucking do that. Some congressmen did this, so you know this, this is what they're talking about over there. And it's just this whole racist spiel that they have. It's some way to take blame off and of us uh, and our lousy response and to blame foreigners. There is no such thing as a foreign virus, okay? Um, there, it's not. So, virus doesn't know where it comes from, people. And they're, guess what? They're, they're not partisan either. And also, TJ goes, pure fearmonger and President Donald J. Trump. What is the deal with this? Uh, always breathes like that. Really? Because he's always on Adderall? God damn, you're just too stupid to even realize that your defenses don't work. You know why? Because you got too much of a boner for Donald Trump. You, I wonder if uh, coronavirus uh, makes you... Be, you know, uh, causes erectile dysfunction. So, let's hope so. It might actually work out better for you that way, TJ. Mm. Yeah, we don't refer to Donald Trump as president. You know why? Because he's not a president. 
he, he is president, but he's not a president. He doesn't act presidential. Mm -hmm. he's, he's a fucking child. His whole response to this has not been for the benefit of the country. It's been for himself. So this is why I would never refer to, to that son of a bitch as president. Because he doesn't care about you. He doesn't care about me. He only cares about himself. And you're going to feed that. Yeah, I just don't welcome that shit. You guys, everybody, leave a comment. Uh, sick of fans, go away. Uh, leave a comment, give you a shout out, and click the red button. Bye.